Analysis from the Washington Post have found that at least eight fatal or serious crashes involving Tesla's autopilot occurred where the autopilot feature should not have been accessible in the first place. Now, the car's manual does warn that its autopilot can be unreliable on roads with hills and curves, but the company has not taken steps to limit its availability by geography. The report from the Washington Post is important because it raises the debate that I think is happening within the industry about how to manage risk as you bring this new technology into the market and underline that is a belief from Tesla that the system is actually better than drivers and so statistically it's likely that these cars will perform better than a lot of drivers on the road. Whether that's real or, or perceived by regulators and the general public is, is still to be determined. The regulators are following the industry because the technology is moving so quickly and as we go forward here I think there's going to be more public concern and transparency that's necessary to really gain trust amongst the broader population around how these vehicles really do carry forward.